Hello everyone. Today let's do a short story full of values, information, facts and teachings from your supplementary reader in English for class 7 and Alien Hand. But we shall break this chapter in two videos as I have to share lot many things with you. When I first read the chapter title, Tiny Teacher, I was amazed that who is this teacher and why this teacher is addressed as tiny. After reading this chapter, I was astounded. I was filled with admiration for these tiny teachers. See children, for us, teacher is a person who teaches us in school, right? But each creation of God is a teacher. We can learn something or other from everyone and anyone. You can learn faithfulness from a dog. You can learn hard work from honeybee. You can learn resilience from a spider. So anyone who can inspire you, who can teach you something is a teacher. Any elderly person can be a teacher, your friends or your siblings could be a teacher to you at some point of your life. So it's not necessary that the one who is elder to you can only be a teacher to you. Now, if you look at the various pictures I have put here, you can observe that they always work in team. As you can see here in this picture as well as in this picture, you can observe that they always work in team. They work relentlessly. They never take a break while at work. Here I have shown you a realistic picture of ants where they are carrying, as you can see this white tiny thing that they are carrying are the grubs. They are carrying these grubs for airing, about which we will be learning in the later part of the chapter. Next picture I have shown you an individual ant. These are called the aerials or the feelers through which they communicate with other ants. So let's begin with this amazing chapter, the tiny teacher. Before the chapter, let me read you the introductory part. Though so very small, the ant is unbelievably intelligent and hardworking. Among the various kinds, the commonest ant is black or red. Ants live in comfortable homes called ant hills. Name the smallest insect you have seen and the wisest. So author of this story is asking you to name the smallest insect that you must have seen. But that insect should be the wisest too. Smallest as well as wisest. So he is asking, is it the fly? No, it isn't. So it is not the fly. Is it the mosquito? No, not the mosquito. So it is neither the flies nor the mosquito then it must be the worm no none of these so it's not the fly it's not the mosquito not even the worm it is the ant the commonest the smallest but the wisest insect so the author is telling that the smallest and the wisest at the same time the commonest insect is the ant it is the wisest among all the small insects the story of an ant's life sounds almost untrue that is the author is telling that if you uh, read in depth about the lifestyle of an ant you may feel that it is exaggerated. It is not true. But people have kept ants as pets and have watched their daily behavior closely. Like we people keep cats, parrots or dogs as pets. Some people have the habit of keeping even fish in aquarium. So we know their 
daily habits because we observe them every day we know when to feed them we know when to take them out uh, we know when to feed the fish everything because we are studying them every day the same way some curious people were there who wanted to know about the life of ants they kept some ants as their pets that is they prepared uh, artificial ant homes and they kept the ants in it and studied about their daily routine so we know a number of facts about this tiny hard working and intelligent creature as this uh, curious people studied about these ants in depth so we have lot of informations about these hard working intelligent and tiny creatures an ant uses its feelers or antenna to talk to other ants by passing messages through them you must be observing or you must be wondering how these ants talk to each other how they do their planning how uh, they plan about where to go about so these ants have aerials as you can see here two ants are communicating by touching the antennas or the feelers okay by rubbing the antennas or feelers they pass the messages from one ant to another and this is how they communicate with each other watch a row of ants moving up or down the wall so next time when you see ants marching in a line do observe them when they are uh, crossing each other there would be one line going in one direction and the other line would be there who would be moving in the opposite direction so whenever they are crossing each other each ant will greet each ant of the other row okay they will just wait for a pause for a moment they will rub the antennas of each other that is the way how they uh, greet each other or they pass message or communicate or talk to each other each ant greets all the others coming from the opposite direction by touching their feelers so these are the feelers or the antennas here you can see in the picture here too so in this picture you can clearly see in how disciplined way these ants are marching and in this figure you can see how these ants are Uh, communicating with each other with the help of their aerials or antennas or feelers there are many kinds of ants the commonest among them are the black or the red ones so there are uh, about 200 species of ants how many 200 species of ants but the commonest among them are the black or the red ones these are also called garden ants ants what are they called garden ants okay we have seen them since we were children but haven't paid enough attention to them since we were small we have been seeing these garden ants or the black and red ants in our locality in our surrounding inside our homes but we haven't paid enough attention to these ants and i bet there would be hardly anyone who hasn't experienced ant bite you know any one who comes in contact with ants is at the risk of ant bite or stings particularly if you are in the area where ants are building their nest and you know why why this irritation is caused when ants bite you they basically inject or spray formic acid inside your skin and this formic acid is what creates the irritation in our body and we feel the burning sensation where ants bite you okay so this is a formic acid that creates the irritation when ant bite you fine so let's see where do they live in their comfortable homes called nest or ant hills so the homes of ants where they live are called nest or ant hills so these terms are important nest or ant hills just underline it and their homes are very comfortable each has hundreds of little rooms and passages as you can see here these ant hills have hundreds 
hundreds of rooms and passages in some of these rooms the queen ant lays eggs and in some as you can see in this picture here the there are some rooms which are only reserved for the eggs laid by the queen ant others are nurseries for the young ones called grubs another term which is important is grubs just underline it so some of the rooms are reserved only for the eggs laid by the queen and the other rooms few other rooms are made nurseries for the young ones which are called grubs workers have their reserved quarters that is in the ant colony or in the ant group there is one separation which is called worker group okay these worker ants have their own reserved quarters their own re reserved rooms they spend most of their time searching for food and the duty or the function is that they have to search for the food they have to hunt for the food and they have to bring food back into the Uh, ant hill or ant colony some rooms serve as store houses for this food so the food that these ants bring they store in the store houses so some of the rooms serve as store houses for this food soldiers have separate barracks so the rooms in which the soldiers live they are named as barracks they are called barracks now If you have looked at a line of ants marching across your kitchen counter and wondered if they were boys or girls you were right if you decided on girls most ant colonies need far more females than males for the basic reason that females do all the work so whether a soldier ant or worker ant they are all females but they lack the ability to reproduce only the queen ant reproduces only the queen ant lays eggs these worker ants all the soldier ants though they are females but they lack the ability to reproduce though exceptions may be there so let's read further no worker has ever tried to live in soldier's house no soldier has ever gone out searching for food so what they are telling that these worker ants just live in their own reserved quarters they never try to go and live in the barracks of soldiers right and their function is to collect the food here no soldier has ever gone out searching for food the function of worker ant is to search for food here soldiers would never go for searching for food no worker or soldier or cleaner has ever harmed a grub so no soldier or cleaner or worker they have never harmed any grub so you see an ant's life is very peaceful why it's so peaceful because they don't interfere into each other's activities they do not harm each other they have their own distinguished work their own definite functions they only perform that they do not poke nose into others work each does its share of work intelligently and bravely and never fights with other members of the group so what is it each member every mem member does its own share of work very intelligently and bravely and they don't fight with each other there is never a fight inside the members of the group so with a thought of teamwork which these tiny teachers or these little creatures teach us i would just take a break and we shall continue the chapter in next video thank you